Good evening, and welcome to Stations of the Cross, the struggle for LGBT equality. And so we begin as we begin all things in the name of God, the Creator, the Redeemer, and Sanctifier. Peace be with you. Loving God, source of all creation, you endowed all people with inherent dignity and worth, and you invite us to treat each other in ways that honor and value that worth. We lament that too often the lives, rights, and freedom of our LGBTQ community and people everywhere have not been valued in our communities and in our society. Guide us as we seek your justice here on earth and give us the courage to reconcile with those who have been harmed by religion. We ask your blessing as we seek to co-create a world where people are free from injustice, violence, and discrimination. Amen. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. From the Holy Gospel according to Mark. But he was silent and answered nothing. Again the high priest asked him and said to him, Are you the Messiah, the Son of the Blessed One? Then Jesus answered, I am. And you will see the Son of Man seated at the right hand of the power and coming with the clouds of heaven. At that, the high priest tore his garments and said, What further need have we of witnesses? You have heard the blasphemy. What do you think? And they all condemned him as deserving to die. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, by standing in front of the powerful and proclaiming yourself the I Am, you demonstrated for us the need to speak truth to power in all things even if it means being arrested or killed. Help us to risk speaking out for equality and acceptance, even when it is difficult. Amen. In 1913, the word faggot is first used in print in reference to gays in a vocabulary of criminal slang published in Portland, Oregon. The drawings in this station come from the cover of one such dictionary of slang. Together we say, loving God, creator of dignity and all that lives, help us be bridges. Help us cry out for respect and value for all when society forgets that we are all God's children. Amen. Jesus receives the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. From the Holy Gospel according to John. Then he handed him over to them to be crucified. So they took Jesus and carrying the cross himself, he went out to what is called the place of the skull, in Hebrew, Golgotha. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, help us to focus on your teachings. Assist each of us from simply going along in order to be part of the crowd. You alone welcomed everyone to your side, no matter what. Grant that we too may welcome all people, no matter who they are, to share in our faith and our communities. Amen. 1924, the first hum homosexual rights organization in America is founded by Henry Gaither in Chicago, the Society for Human Rights. The group exists for a few months before disbanding under police pressure. The charter of the organization makes up the background of this station. Together we say, loving God, creator of dignity and all that lives, help us be bridges, help us cry out for the respect and value for all when society forgets that we are all God's children. Amen. Jesus falls for the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Again, from the Holy Gospel according to John. 
If the world hates you, realize that it hated me first. If you belong to the world, the world would love its own. But because you do not belong to the world, and I have chosen you out of the world, the world hates you. Remember the word I spoke to you, no slave is greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they kept my word, they will also keep yours. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you bore the weight of the cross. You stumbled and fell, made weak by the hours of verbal and physical persecution and bullying. You have already suffered, and there is part of humanity that will always reject God and the one whom God sent. This is the world that will always mock and persecute those who do good. Almighty God, we accept you in your triune majesty. We are each grateful for being part of your chosen people, who have been made one with you through the waters of baptism. Empower each of us to carry our own cross amidst the bullying and persecution. Help, us, help each of us to bring equality and acceptance by meeting hatred with love. Amen. 1933, the National Socialist Germany Workers' Party bans homosexual groups under paragraph 175, and homosexuals are sent to the concentration camps. We say together, loving God, creator of dignity and all that lives, help us be bridges, help us cry out for respect and value for all when society forgets that we are all God's children. Jesus meets his mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. From the Holy Gospel according to Mark, standing by the cross of Jesus where his mother and his mother's sister Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary of Magdala. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple there whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. And then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his home. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, as you hung upon the cross, you entrusted your mother to the disciple you loved. She became like the disciple's own mother. Each of us like that disciple today. Your mother is now our blessed mother. It is our souring, souring blessed mother, Mary, who watched her son and our brother carry his cross through the streets of Jerusalem. It is our blessed mother, Mary, who watches her son's body stripped and nailed to a cross. And it is our blessed mother, Mary, who waits for you, Jesus, as you slowly and painfully die. It is our Blessed Mother Mary, who cradles your lifeless body in her arms and helps place you in the tomb. And so today we see the injustice of so many in the community being killed through senseless violence, suicide, bullying, and discrimination. And with our Blessed Mother Mary, may we have the courage to stand with those who suffer, are in pain or dying. May we, by our words and action, bring about equality and acceptance. Amen. 1945, upon liberation of Nazi concentration camps by allied forces, some interned for homosexuality are not freed, but required to so serve out their full term of their sentences under paragraph 175. Loving God, creator of all dignity and all that lives, Help us be bridges. Help us cry out for respect and value for all when society forgets that we are all God's children. Yeah. 1945. Simon of Cyrene helps Jesus carry the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. From the Holy Gospel according to Luke. As they led him away, they took hold of a certain Simon, a Cyrenian, who was coming in from the country, and after laying the cross on him, 
they made him carry it behind Jesus. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, Simon of Cyrene was forced to help you carry your cross. May each of us embrace your cross and teachings willingly and follow you. Help us to confront and conquer our own fears and reluctance to feel and cope with acceptance of all people. Help us each, Lord, to be willing to take up our own shoulders, take upon our own shoulders the pain and anguish of others. We want to be there for you and for them, working for equality and acceptance. Amen. 1950. 190 individuals in the U.S. are dismissed from government employment for their sexual orientation, commencing the Lavender Scare. The fear of persecution of homosexuals in the 1950s paralleled the anti-communist scares campaign of McCarthyism. And so we say together, loving God, creator of dignity and all that lives, help us be bridges. Help us cry out for respect and value for all when society forgets that we are all God's children. Amen. Veronica v wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. From the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. And then the righteous will answer him and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry and fed you? Or thirsty and give you drink? When did we see you a stranger and welcome you? Or naked and clothe you? When did we see you ill or in prison and visit you? And he will say to them in reply, Amen, I say to you, whatever you did for one of the least brothers of mine, you did for me. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, many of your disciples watched as you passed on your way to Golgotha, not knowing what to do. It was a woman, Veronica, who tried to offer you some comfort. All she had at her disposal was her veil. She uses it to wipe your face. What can we, just as we are, do to alleviate exclusion of certain people and bring inclusion and acceptance to those in distress? May we each use whatever knowledge, abilities, or possessions we have to take action, no matter how small, to bring about equality and acceptance. 1954, mathematician Alan Turing commits suicide by cyanide poisoning, 18 months after being given a choice between two years in prison or libido-reducing hormone treatment as a punishment for his homosexuality. Turing was instrumental in the British intelligence service during World War II, and he is widely considered the father of computer science. Together we pray. Loving God, creator of dignity and all that lives, help us be bridges, help us cry out for respect and value for all when society forgets that we are all God's children. Amen. Jesus falls the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. From the prophet Isaiah. Yet it was our pain that he bore, our sufferings he endured. We thought of him as stricken, struck down by God and afflicted. But he was pierced for our sins, crushed for our iniquity. He bore the punishment that makes us whole. By his wounds we are healed. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you fell a second time. You are enduring such suffering and pain. God, our creator, gave us to you, gave us you to bear our sins. You are carrying the cross 
for each one of us and our sins. Such love and compassion you have for each person. O oh God, each of us has sinned through our own callousness and failure to love as you love. Change our hearts and make them like your own. Help us to love ourselves and others as you love each of us. Let our sincere compassion and love for those who are suffering bring about equality and acceptance. Amen. 1967 the Black Cat Tavern in Los Angeles is raided on New Year's Day by 12 plainclothes police officers who beat and arrested employees and patrons. The resulting campaigns and protests predate the Stonewall riots by two years. And so we say together, loving God, creator of dignity and all that lives, help us be bridges, help us cry out for respect and value for all when society forgets that we are all God's children. Amen. Jesus meets the women of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross, you redeemed the world. From the Holy Gospel according to Luke, a large crowd of people followed Jesus, including many women who mourned and lamented him. Jesus turned to them and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me. Weep instead for yourselves and for your children. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, discrimination is a sin against the commandment that you came to give the world. Exclusion of certain people is a sin that affects not only those living today but for generations to come. Today we hold the future of our children, our country, and the world in our hands. We weep as we witness the many people around us dealing with inequality, income disparity, homelessness, and more. Lord, give us an urgent desire to work for equality and acceptance. Amen. 1969, after a police raid on the Stonewall Inn in the early morning hours of June 28, 1969, a series of spontaneous, violent demonstrations took place. The first gay pride march in U.S. history took place on the first anniversary of the riots. Together we say, loving God, creator of dignity and all that lives, help us be bridges Help us cry out for respect and value for all when society forgets that we are all God's children. Amen. Jesus falls the third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Psalm 1 to 19. My soul clings to the dust. Give me life in accord with your word. For I disclosed my ways and you answered me. Teach me your statutes. Make me to understand the ways of your precepts. For I will ponder your wondrous deeds. My soul is depressed. Lift me up according to your word. Let us pray. Jesus, you have fallen for the third time on the road to Calvary. You would they lay there caked in the dried blood, covered in dust, and jeered at by the mob. What hope can there be for those who seek to follow in your footsteps and bring equality and acceptance to the world? We too grow tired and weak from the persecution and bullying of the warmongers and those who place themselves above others. Yet we seek the example you set for us as you rise yet again to continue your task. You have shown us to follow God's plan for our lives, even if it means death. Lord, we pray not just for ourselves, but for all people of no matter what. Strengthen us to endure. Help us finish the race by being true to your teachings. Amen. 1978. Former Supervisor Dan White assassinates openly gay San Francisco Supervisor Harvey Milk. 
along with me, Mayor George Moscone. Milk was the first openly gay politician to be elected to public office in California. Loving God, creator of dignity and all that lives, help us be bridges, help us cry out for respect and value for all when society forgets that we are all God's children. Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. From the Holy Gospel according to Mark, they gave him wine drugged with myrrh, but he did not take it. Then they crucified him and divided his garments by casting lots for them to see what each should take. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you could have accepted the wine mixed with myrrh to dull the pain you were about to endure, yet you did not. Rather, you endured the brutal agony of crucifixion. You experienced the embarrassment of being stripped of your clothing. You felt each strike of the hammer nailing you to the wood of the cross. You hear the mocking jeers of the crowd as they amuse themselves at your expense. Lord God, grant that we do not become numb and uncaring to those around us and to discrimination and inequality. Strip us of our own bigotry, brutality, dishonesty, pride, and vanity. May we put on your compassion, holiness, and love. Show us what we must do to all people from the pain of inequality May we help transform the world into your kingdom of equality and acceptance. Amen. 1981, the first official documentation of GRID, the gay-related infectious disease, later renamed AIDS, was published by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. The images in this station are one that illustrate the HIV virus. We say together, loving God, creator of dignity and all that lives, help us be bridges, help us cry out for respect and value for all when society forgets that we are all God's children. Amen. Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. From the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Now two others, both criminals, were led away with him to be executed. When they came to the place called the Skull, they crucified him, and the criminals there, one on his right and the other on his left. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them, they know not what they do. And they divided the garments by casting them. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you not only forgave those in their ignorance that put you to death, you ask God to forgive them as well. Forgiveness is the most vital tool in our arsenal for fighting injustice. For when we forgive an injury, we can bring about acceptance and love. Lord, help us to pass from injury to pardon in our own lives. 1992, the National Association for Research and Therapy of Homosexuality is founded. The organization opposes the mainstream medical view of homosexuality and aims to make effective psychological therapy available to all homosexual men and women who seek change. Radical forms of reparative therapy involve electric shock treatment. We say together, loving God, creator of dignity and all that lives, help us be bridges, help us cry out for respect and value for all when society forgets that we are all God's children. Amen. Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you 
because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. In the Holy Gospel according to Luke. It was now about noon, and darkness came over the whole land, until three in the afternoon, because of an eclipse of the sun. Then the veil of the temple was torn down the middle, and Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. And when he had said this, he breathed his last. Let us pray. The death of the Messiah is a cosmic event. The light of the noonday sun fades as the life of Jesus passes from this world to the next. Darkness where the evil thoughts and actions lay takes sway over the earth and its people. Yet at his death, the veil that hides the Holy of Holies and the temple is torn from the top down, offering to all of humanity free access to the love of God. Even Jesus' last words in his earthly body show Christ's total dedication to God that he had exhibited throughout his life. Lord Jesus, as we follow you to your death on the cross, may we abandon our own selfishness and devote ourselves to serving you through being of service to others. Use each of us to tear down that which keeps us from bringing your light, equality, and acceptance to the world. Amen. 1998. On November 28, 1998, a transgender African-American woman named Rita he Hester was murdered in Alston, Massachusetts. The outpouring of grief and anger over her death inspired the founding of the International Transgender Day of Remembrance. The background image in this piece is from one of these vigils. Together we say, loving God, creator of dignity and all that lives, help us be bridges, help us cry out for respect and value for all when society forgets that we are all God's children. Amen. Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. From the Holy Gospel according to John. After this, Joseph of Arimathea, secretly a disciple of Jesus, for fear of the Jews, asked Pilate if he could remove the body of Jesus, and Pilate permitted it. So he came and took his body. Let us pray. Lord God, your passion and death inspired Joseph of Arimathea to set aside his fear of being your follower, to step out into the light. He bravely approached Pilate to request your body for burial. Lord, may the Holy Spirit fill each of us with confidence, and may we have the courage to stand up and be counted. May we all publicly proclaim the equality and acceptance of all people of Christ. Amen. 2004. In sweeping homophobic legislative measures, same-sex marriage is banned in Mississippi, Missouri, Montana, Oregon, Utah, Arkansas, Georgia, Kentucky, Louisiana, Michigan, North Dakota, Ohio, Oklahoma, Virginia, and Wisconsin. Loving God, creator of dignity, and all that lives, help us be bridges, help us cry out for respect and value for all when society forgets that we are all God's children. Amen. Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. In the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Having bought a linen cloth, he took him down wrapped him in the linen cloth and laid him in the tomb that had been hewn out of the rock. 
Then he rolled a stone against the entrance of the tomb. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, your body was consigned to the grave, as are so many of the people who work for equality and acceptance. Some, like you, have been persecuted and tortured. Some have died. Some have been assassinated. Some have been murdered. And some die quiet deaths after lives spent in your service. Some are old. Some are young. But they all have in common with Jesus an eventual resurrection to eternal life. And so we ask that all the saints of peace surrounding the throne of God to pray for us. Help us take effective action to heal the injustices that plague our lives. Help us to be agents of reconciliation in a world torn by sin. And help us attain new life in the kingdom where Jesus reigns with God the Creator and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Loving God, creator of dignity in all that lives, help us be bridges. Help us cry out for respect and value for all when society forgets that we are all God's children. The Resurrection We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world from the book of Revelation. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth and the former heaven and the former earth had passed away and the sea was no more. I also saw the holy city, a new Jerusalem coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, behold, God's dwelling is with the human race. He will dwell with them and they will be his people and God himself will always be with them as their God. He will wipe every tear from their eyes and there will be no more death or mourning, wailing or pain for the old order has passed away. And the one who sat on the throne said, behold, I make all things new. Then he said, write these words down for they are trustworthy and true. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, the, good, the grave could not continue. Your resurrection from the dead is the ultimate triumph over death. May all Christians embrace our new life in you by taking action in our world. By those actions, may we unite with you in transforming the world into a new creation in your holy and blessed name. 2015, the Supreme Court ruled in the landmark civil rights case of Oberfell versus Hodges that the fundamental right of same-sex couples to marry on the same terms and conditions as opposite-sex couples with all the accompanying rights and responsibilities. And so we say together, loving God, creator of dignity, and all that lives, help us be bridges. Help us cry out for respect and value for all when society forgets that we are all God's children. Amen. And so we say together in closing, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us our day. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in beginning, so now and evermore. Amen. Let us depart in peace in the name of the God, the Creator, the Redeemer, and the Sanctifier.